Okay, so this is how to do a jumper effect in Pinnacle Studio. I don't think it matters which Pinnacle you have, but just open up Pinnacle. Just wait for that to open up. Alright, so, alright, now that's opened up, just get the video clip of you, um, actually doing the jumper effect, or just going from one place to another, and it's this footage right here that I have, and you just zoom in, zoom in, I mean, just keep going in to the video, to right about, like, there, this is where I'm about to almost get up, so, right click and it and just delete it and then just keep going then right about here I kind of jump to make it look like I'm doing a jump effect like you know kind of teleporting like that so right about here you want to right click and split the clip then just keep going I'm crawling to the other side and now right here I jump kind of jump into it right right about there want to right click and split the clip I mean and uh, yeah split the clip and then just delete this middle clip right here and then you want to keep going keep going um wait actually yeah that's it and then just delete the rest of the uh wait. sorry about that and then just delete the rest of the footage you don't need so it's basically you Going from one place to another, I'll play it. All right, that that doesn't really look like a jump effect yet. So what you want to do is go to paint and just save it as this white background. I saved it already here, but yeah, I'll say I'll save it again. Replace it, whatever. Yes. So now go to where you have it and just drag that into Pinnacle. And then you just want to drag this white background into the middle. And this is so you can create a flash and just make it really, really small, right about like that. So it has a flash. And and if you just play it, it has a nice flash to it and makes it look much better. So I'll ignore that. It's my sister. And just keep going into the timeline. So right about here. Just a little before you go about to before the flash starts. Get about right here and then right click and just split it and do the same thing for the other about the same so about the same size right here. Right click split clip. And the reason is this so you can add like a nice blur to it without doing it to the rest of the video. So now go to the first split clip that you just did. Go to toolbox, add video effects and go to studio plus rtfx or wherever you have um, motion blur because that's what you're going to need and make the blur about uh, about 16.85 and the angle you want to press use keyframes and just drag the angle to the end of the timeline and what this does is make screen move a little if you can see and um, same thing for here go to toolbox um, add video effects motion blur about 1685 16.85 right about there and you want to make it move so when you press use keyframes and just drag it to the end and 
what that does is give it a nice kind of turn to it. And if you just play the video, yeah, it gives it a nice kind of blur and like moving effect, and it's kind of believable. It's the best dripper effect I could find yet. And for the sound effect, you want to go to sound effects of course go to where you have go to miscellaneous or wherever you have the golf swing cause that that's the closest thing I could find for a uh, jumper effect so I'm trying to do a zoom in on that and if you can see um, you can see right there it's just a straight white line like right here and then there's a bunch of up and down lines. That's where the jumper or golf swing is. And just go a little, leave a little of that white strip. You now that that just means there's no audio, and you wanna you want that a little. And just split the clip, and then keep going, keep going, and leave a little of that white strip of line again. Right click and split clip, and then just delete this, the rest, and make sure you delete close gap, because if you don't, then it'll just delete the video track too. So, and put it right when the right when the um, flash starts right here and now if you um now just play the video okay um that's basically what it should look in the end and that's basically how you do a jumper effect so yeah